33 Variations is the story of how Beethoven became obsessed with a little waltz, a tiny little waltz of Anton Diabelli, and he spent three years of his life working on it. It was a kind of publicity scheme um, of Diabelli's to, to uh, draw attention to his new publishing firm. We always thought that it's such an insignificant waltz, why would he, Beethoven devote his time to that? Although Beethoven described the waltz as a cobbler's patch, on some level he deeply appreciated it because he could find in the commonplace and ordinary life the seeds of creativity. Now we begin again in E flat major, twice as fast, three subjects simultaneously. Now bring the subject up. The world is collapsing, refining itself in a C flat diminished chord. Here we have someone who has created and is also directing Moises Kaufman. And he, since he's here and he's created it, uh, he's able to evolve it. Beethoven in the play says, after working three years on a piece, somebody asks, did you finish it? He says, well, I could have used another couple of weeks. I feel like that now. Like every time I get back to this piece, I keep rewriting it and rewriting it. My feeling is that we're actually doing a little bit better production out here than was seen on Broadway. Mozart composed in his head. Beethoven composed on paper. So there are thousands and thousands of sketches with his every thought, every compositional idea, and they're in Bonn. It's the only hope I have to understand why he did it. Well, what can I say about Jane Fonda? Um, wonderful actress, a great collaborator, wonderful member of the ensemble, and then she has these great moments when she is able to really bring the audience right into her heart. And, uh, go beyond the footlights, and that's the mark of a great actress. It is about the process of this this passion and this fascination, but it's something an obsession. But that there is something that we all understand that that all of us have had intense passions and intense obsessions that lead us to do things that regularly we wouldn't dream of doing. And uh, I think that when we get bitten, as, as Dr. Kinderman was saying, when we get bitten by that something happens and I think that's something that we can all relate to.